Hi, this is a C++ AutoCAD Center system. So the way this system works is you select any of the checkbox. If you like, you can select it all. You can always select either convertible or standard. Let me go for convertible and enter the price. I say that the price of your convertible 45,000 plus. And if you have a car that you intend to trade in, let's say that's the value of the car you intend to trade in, select total and that is what happened so depend on uh, how you want to use the system the system responds to whatever selections made okay so what i'll do now is to take you into visual studio development environment and you see how i put together this system right, this is a c++ uh, project i'm actually calling this project auto center i may end up putting a title right up there but this is just the interface that i've developed so far and um, the next thing will be just to start coding the system but uh, just a quick uh, run around of uh, the component on board i here have a uh, checkbox this is our checkbox right there and uh, this is my group box I have labels here these are our labels and i have some more labels right there okay this uh, input uh, uh, device there that's a, te a text box and here I have a uh, radio buttons and uh, buttons right here this button I'm just maybe I will call that an other button but I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it yet but I'll give it a name the only uh, bit of programming I've done so far I think I have used a reset or play button for this I might call this reset and I've also used a uh, uh, form closing so let me take you guys to form closing if I double click on this I will end up in the code view area. So for the form closing, let I show you guys the property. Let me show you the property right now. That's the property right there. You can see the events. So that's the property for this form closing. If I double click on that, what you will see is the couple of lines of code or lines of code that I've actually written. So that means anytime I click on the X key, this will pop up prompting me to confirm if I want to want to exit out of the system so as you guys can see if message box show all to uh, exit all to center system all system down okay this is just my own bit and um, the message box button is yes or no just like we have in the visual basic itself so once uh, if I click on yes the exit will take precedent over any other action so else the system becomes true if system becomes true that means the system come to life so the other thing i've done so far is uh, to reset the button can you see that so the radio buttons becomes false okay check check uh, check become first force and uh, the checkbox the same and the button tree enable the force all of these components whatever item is in there will be deleted so that's what i've done so far all that is left now is to actually complete the work for complete the calculation as an input or whatever is entered in there whatever is entered in here it should be calculated so that's all that is left now so i will now continue with my with the code show you guys how i'm going to implement the calculation bit of it okay guys let's go to the code view double click on total and now we're in the code view right here all right let's continue with the coding of this application the first thing i will do let's go back up here and just declare some integers let's say q okay let me maybe declare another one just say p or may I'm going to be using this to store some uh, values. So in here, that like I said, if checkbox. So if my checkbox, if this checkbox is checked, I would like the price of this accessory to appear here. Okay, and uh, whatever appear in here should go into my variable, maybe variable p. Or if this is checked both checked okay let's go back into the coding area so what i'll say is if this one is checked i will then say p equals the p equals uh, let's convert that sorry about this convert speed this up and 
that'll be int 32 convert to int 32 uh, that's lb that's uh, level 7 the text so whatever is entered in level 7 is now converted into an integer and is stored in p variable p so let's now store the value in here and just run the program for now and see how it will look like then uh, once it's working as expected i will then speed up the whole process so let's ask the system to convert convert to string data p okay okay i've actually assumed the price for the car stereo would be let's say 200 or let's say 22 pounds and uh, this 22 pounds is then converted into a string and store in level 7 the value in level 7 is then converted into integer and stored into variable p variable p is an integer declared right up here let's see here we go now the value in variable p is assigned into the total which is right here that is just to test the program well, let me run it and you guys see what i was talking about now i've comp i've built and and i've run the program so if i click on or select checkbox stereo system and that is what you get the accessory the price of the accessory there is 22 pounds so i'm going to enter the pound sign as time goes on uh, for now supposing later interior gps global positioning system is selected what we happen so let's go back into the code and get that straightened out i'm going to have to speed up the uh, coding process now and just maybe explain it talk you guys through it okay now i've used the switch uh, statement to sort of like speed up the coding but i've only managed to complete one portion of it you guys can see a lot of parameters in place right here so let me just run this program and you see what i'm talking about the rest will just be copy and paste now this is how the program looks right now as you can see i've now added a, a heading right there autocar center systems so what will happen is if you select on all of these checkbox and select standard which is the only part that i've coded so far enter the value of the brand new car right there and uh, your trading car which is right here let's say the value is about 562 and just all you just need to do is to click on the total and that's what happened so if you guys like you can get your calculator out and check out uh, the amount due and that's it right here but for now i've not completed the other part of the code okay convertible if i click on that you can see there's an error and if i uncheck some of these you can see there's an error there as well because the coding is now completed so what i'll do now is uh, just select copy the codes and uh, use it to replace the old code in there and everything should look beautiful so let's go back into the code view and so that i can speed up the coding process and i'll get back to you guys so what i'll do now is just to copy this part of the code and use that to replace my previous code in here that one is sorted and this the same thing applies to this so i'll just repeat the same thing for all of the codes and get back to you okay now i've completed the whole coding process and this is how it's looking right now so let me just uh, scroll through so that you guys can see what i'm talking about and on the other hand if you have any need for this code you can always subscribe drop me a mail and i'll forward this code to you okay that's how it all looks and uh, i don't want this video to be too long because uh, people are beginning to complain that my be my videos are a bit too long so i'm going to call it a day now so let's just run this program and you see what i'm talking about now the program is running so i just enter the price of a of a car there okay so maybe trade in my old car select the accessory or the gadgets i want in my car select uh, an option there so this is the 
total amount I will end up paying but uh, that's for a convertible let's see a customized deal and see what will happen with a customized deal this is what you get so what I'm gonna do now is uh, for the other button you can see I've changed this to other I've already embedded a form there this is the form embedded and this is going to be um, another tutorial because uh, this will become the other system so I'm gonna to have to work on this this will be my second tutorial well for now this is how the program looks right now and uh, if you have any need for the course just get in touch with me and I'll forward it to you guys so you all have a nice day now